This is going to be a three in one table. We're thinking big when it comes to this little boat. And when we're done with our sailboat restoration project, we're gonna have plenty of space for our guests with our DIY multi-purpose saloon table. This is Luke and I'm Lori. When it comes to restoring this neglected sailboat, we're taking our creativity and the interior design of our boat to the next level, thanks to our Patreons and viewers like you. And if you wanna have a chance to dine in our dinette one day, then help us get the Lahakai back into the water and around the world by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and ringing that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. Remember this? We started working on our dinette by building our benches and storage areas, making the most out of every little space. And now in part two, our saloon is taking shape. We're looking for an actuator right now and we are in a residential neighborhood. And let's see what's happening there. And if they sell actuators. At it for a while, and nothing ever gives. Thinking you missed a turn back away. This actuator is going to be attached to the hull, so it kind of takes the weight, the responsibility of the weight off of it. And then we're going to create the base of the table around it. <laughs> and it's going to be able to lift this table, so let's see what happens. An actuator is a machine component that uses energy and a signal to create motion. And in our case, we're gonna use a linear actuator, which is designed to convert rotational motion from an electrical motor into linear motion using a 12 volt battery. And these components can be used for straight push and pull movements and also lifting and tilting. The height of our table in bed mode is going to be 42 centimeters or 16 and a half inches. And the ideal height of our table in the end would be around 70 centimeters or 27 and a half inches up to 75 centimeters or 29 and a half inches. All right, our first challenge right now is how can we make our dinette table lower down and become a bed? In order to do that, we're going to use this actuator, which is going to lift our table and lower it into the bed position. Now to do this, we have to calculate motor, the height of this, and also the height of the extension in order to complete our leveling of the bed and our height of the table. And that's just our first challenge. We have a bunch of other things that we're going to do with this whole area to make it extra special. Let's say making a dining table and making a bed is our first two challenges. Our third challenge is we're going to make this one big huge dining table for guests. And if that wasn't enough, we're going to make this table lower down and this entire area is going to convert into a huge bed. All right, the table leg was a huge success and now this is our prototype and we're going to make the real thing. Bring down all the lights, let me hold you close I'm full of loose ends, will you be my role? Waited my whole life, and now I know
was done, but you never are. There's always a chant and a beating heart. I'll give you my best, I think that's a start. Now we started to work on the slides of our dinette benches. These will extend the surfaces to complete our bed and seating area. These are the options so far. With our table out like this, we can actually open this up and open the table up. Right now, this is just like a, a sample piece of, of wood, but it'll open up and create a large wraparound U table. Um, we'll also have the option of opening up here. Oops, came out lowering the table and we'll have one guest bed area and then also if we wanted to go all out we can lower the table open it up and have one longer bed because this is a bit for shorter people um, we can actually open up this remember this um area here and we can actually gain 10 centimeters of height if we open this up here or if the person's really tall or if it's us and we want to be really comfortable, we can open up and have one enormous bed. With that out of the way, we gave Selma a helping hand in crafting our handmade dinette table. Keep in mind, this is no ordinary table. This will have a panel that opens up and extends across the corridor to the port side seating area. To do this, we're taking raw planks of Jekichaba wood and cleaning them up. Fame and fortune be done with me. I'm way past ready. Show me a better kind of love. When I was a little, couldn't wait to fly. A million miles later. panel of the table will be three centimeters thick, which is a little over one inch. To reduce the weight and give greater stability to the wood, the guys are also building it with a core that is one and a half centimeters, a little over a half inch in marine grade plywood. And lots and lots of glue. A thousand lifetimes could never be Kind of 
panels of our table together, we're using these stainless steel invisible hinges. In order to make our ideas work, we're going to need some help from Donizetti to put the final touches on our benches. This trim will not only add some attractive details and give a protective round edge, but it will also act as the support for our table when it's in bed mode. The measurements are very tricky because each side has a unique challenge, but Donizetti's up for the task. our brains trying to come up with a solution on how to make this this open table work without creating a leg that we have to that's like unattractive that is kind of in the way and that's also large enough because this table is wide so how can we how can we get enough supports possible? And I think we just came up with a great idea. Okay, this is our first test. Let's see. Obviously, obviously it's going to be connected right now. Right now it's not connected, but that's what it looks like. And fold it up. Think it's gonna work? It's gonna work. All right, our table's looking beautiful, but our leg is still a work in progress. We need to work out a little bit of these kinks that are going before we finalize it. But this is how it works. Darling, I know it's hard to let go. Soon I will hold you. Longer days when I'm away, but we'll both pretend to be bold. We're using this button to raise and lower this table, and this is going to be located in our control panel. But for now, 
we're using this battery. Flowers you brought my stomach in knots You never seem to be scared Now that we've lowered the table, we're now in bed mode. And to complete this bed on this side, we need to pull out this extension. Now, this is also a work in progress. This comes all the way out here, but we need to come out a little bit more. Also, we're gonna create a leg that supports this area so we don't have any issues with putting weight on this. Now, this bed right here fits someone about my size, but if we want somebody a little bit taller, remember this from our bulkhead episode, And now I can fit somebody a little bit taller. Or if you're a little bit taller like Luke, then we have a solution for you. And this is it, our enormous bed. So why would we want this sometimes? I don't know if we wanted to stretch out. A lot of the times in a sailboat, the V-Bird gets a little bit rocky, so maybe you want to be more centralized. Or if it's really hot and we want to be in some place a little bit more airy, like the main cabin, this is a great option as well. And it's here and it's available and we're loving it. There's a lot of things we have to work out still to make this work well, but the idea is there. So stick with us. Next week, we're going to have a lot more things that we're working on. And of course, we're going to get back to all of these fine tunings so we can finalize this boat and get it into the water.